The Book of St. Anthony's Miracle is a, a rich collection of uh, prodigious events attributed to our saint, to St. Anthony of Padua. It was written by a Franciscan friar, Arnaldo of Serrano, around the year 1370. Friar Arnaldo report exactly 66 miracles, many of which regard healings. In St. Anthony times there were many sick people who could not be cured by the medical science of those days. We have to keep in mind that almost half of children died before the age of five due to infective diseases. Women died very, very frequently while giving birth, while men would easily uh, you know, lose their lives either at work or in war. Doctors were few in number, generally unprepared and very, very expensive. Only the very rich could afford them. The poor, therefore, could only turn to God or to a saint to come to their aid. Thank God there were religious orders, and in particular the Franciscans, who took care of those uh, sick people who were also poor. St. Francis had in fact greatly insisted that the cure of the sick be one of his friar's top priorities. There are many miraculous healings performed by St. Anthony uh, during his uh, lifetime and also immediately after his death. And many of these miracles were eventually, you know, immortalized in famous works of art, in, may, in famous masterpieces. However, many more are the healings obtained uh, through the intercession of St. Anthony by a lot of people who in the course of the centuries have left uh, a token of gratitude for the grace received in the form of uh, an object left at the saint's tomb. They are generally small uh, paintings, silver hearts, wax uh, models of uh, the sick part of the body, prothesis uh, and crutches uh, no longer needed because uh, of the grace received. One of my favorite uh, pictures is uh, a little one which was painted over over a hundred years ago. It shows a young, paralyzed, bedridden woman. One day, her parents, the parish priest and the whole parish, decided to take her to the Basilica of St. Anthony in Padua. The girl was very, very devoted to St. Anthony and prayed to him every day, so at least for once she would be able to pray to him in front of his tomb. And so the painting shows her being transported on a mattress by four men, followed by her family. But here, on the other side of the painting, we can see the same group coming out of the shrine with the girl walking joyfully between her mom and the parish priest. In front of them, a huge crowd. Her friend, San Anthony, had heard her prayers and granted her the greatest gift, health. We are now in front of St. Anthony's tomb and just like 100 years ago that girl was healed by the saint, we today turn to our friend St. Anthony with trust so that he may likewise take us as well as our sick relatives and friends under his wing. And so we pray. Dear St. Anthony, during your life, you have always shown great love for the sick. You were moved by their suffering, and many times you restored them to health and brought joy back into their families. Please intercede with the, the Father for us, so that our dear sick relatives and friends may receive the gift of health. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.